In these series of videos, we're going to take a look at how we can use ZBrush as an application to do 3D sketching. Uh, a 3D sketch is a model that you're going to be able to generate really quickly and flesh out ideas in actual 3D forms, um, but they're not going to be complete models. The topology is not going to be good. It's only about how does this thing look and how does it look in three dimensions. Um, people have been doing sketches for quite some time with pen and paper and people have made uh, really quick models in the real world using, you know, maybe model kits, kit bashing, pushing and pulling parts together to uh, form models real quickly. But it hasn't been something that was really available on the computer until recently. ZBrush has opened up a lot of different possibilities with the tools that they have so you can generate shapes really, really quickly. Um, the advantage for this is that you can just try out ideas. If they don't work, you just throw it away and move on to the next thing. We're not worried about any kind of technical requirements here. We're only worried about what does the shape look like and moving to the next stage of taking that model, getting it approved by an art director and moving on to the next step of actually taking that and using it as a 3D template to build our final models from and our clean topology. Real quickly before we move on to the next section, I just wanted to show you what has made this possible for ZBrush to be able to sketch in the way that it does. It's a new um, system called DynaMesh, which is actually a form of volume sculpting to where it looks at the volume of an object and that's how things are added or subtracted away from that volume. Uh, talking about the topology, this is the kind of topology that it creates. It's uh, kind of like a semi-evenly distributed mesh and it kind of uh, just figures out where's the volume of these different surfaces and then it builds a new piece of geometry for you whenever you wish for to do so. So you're never really worried about the topology, the edge flow, anything like that on these kind of models. It's just seen as a solid block of um, maybe polygons. But you can see that there's a finite resolution to this. So that's why it's considered more of a sketch. You can take it out of DynaMesh and you can keep going further and refining it. And you can take it out of this sketch kind of quality and bring it into the realm of a finished model. But that's not really the point of this concepting stage. The point of the concepting stage is just to quickly uh, get ideas out and flesh them out in 3D so you can take a look at them and spin around uh, your models in 3D. And then if that's approved, then, um, then at that point you have a 3D template which you can build your final models from. So I just wanted to let you know that that's kind of the new thing that has been opened up inside of ZBrush to allow this type of model creation. It's the addition of DynaMesh and we'll be taking a look at that as well.